Power to the truth. This video is entitled Homeless Refugees in America. My name is Peter S. Lopez, a Capita de Aslan, and I'll start out by acknowledging that. I am a former homeless refugee and a recovered dope fiend and a recovered drunk. Hell is on earth, trust and believe. Now I am blessed to live in a bunker. I'm on SSI disability and there's no shame to my game. Eventually I want to work on my typing and maybe have a book published and get off SSI or SSDI. I'm not sure what I'm on. My diagnosis is bipolar, so you work with it. Uh, this is kind of a, a, a core issue in, in my life, the whole issue of homelessness. Homelessness. I see homeless people in the USA as we're actually homeless refugees. And if you say, well, how can you be a refugee if you're in, in the country of your birth? We're a refugee from a rotten system. We're refugees from a broken, rotten, decrepit, decaying system. It's not even a system, it's just a screwed up situation. At least a system would have some, some a better order to it. You know, so I look at, the, at homeless as, as we're domestic refugees. Domestic refugees, we're displaced persons. And it's so bad that, you know, we don't really know how many homeless people we have. You know, just, uh, I was talking to some brothers earlier here in Sacramento, for like a long time, we've been trying to create a space called Safe Ground, where you know homeless folks can can, can gather in a legal camp to camp outside, you know, with uh, toilet facilities in a situation where you know. We monitor ourselves, our, our police ourselves, and or those who would be in that safe ground camp. And here in Sacramento so far, so this comes up every year, we haven't been able to establish a safe ground yet. Our brave mayor, Johnson, who I respect, you know, got us this multi-billion dollar arena, you know, for the basketball, and can't even get a square mile for safe ground. You know, so... This whole situation, you know, it, it gets deep, and this is here and throughout the USA. See, the homeless are, they're the canary in the mine. And like, miners in, in the old days had a canary in a cage, you know, where 
if that canary died, then you know that, you know, better get the hell out of that cave. And homeless refugees are, you know, we're, you know, I say we because I still, I, I identify strongly with, with the homeless refugees. You know, we're the canary in the mine. If you want to know the level of humanity, the level of sanity, the level of compassion of a given society, gaze at the homeless. Gaze at the homeless. Don't walk by and, and, and pretend to be blind all of a sudden. Don't pretend that the homeless are invisible. Especially if, if you're in an urban city, you know, I'm right by state capital, you know, and, and I see all these uh, well to do state workers, you know. Who have no idea of what being homeless, you know, is, but they can see the homeless person there, and it was up to them. Maybe just have the homeless be swept away, you know, and it's sad. See when we see see families, and you know we need to be honest about the homeless situation. You know it was my own uh, my own past drug addiction that resulted in my becoming homeless and going through the nightmare of being homeless. This is after I worked for redevelopment and I helped to do the staff reports for various housing programs in Sacramento. Uh, and I became, uh, I got laid off. No, I got, I lost my job because of my alcoholism. And then I got into, uh, I had a big check and they cut me loose. And then I got into dealing the dope crank. And I thought I can handle it, you know. This is before I got into the whole recovery process stuff. So, all in all, becoming homeless was, was the best, worst thing that ever happened to me. Because I had to admit my situation. And I realized how fragile life can be. And it got me, you know, to live in that homeless nightmare. And it is a nightmare. You know, when people pretend that you're invisible. When no one talks to you of, of the ordinary normal people. Sometimes you just start talking to yourself. You know, so there's a lot of dynamics and, and complexities involving homelessness. I, you know, if you look at it worldwide, you know, we see that there's there's millions of, if of, if not billions, there's millions of homeless refugees throughout the world. So this is a major global issue. You know, so we need to. Excuse me. We need to be mindful of that and and not just look at it as as just a local problem, you know. This is a major global problem. And it's a it, it's a major life indicator. 
it's a major reflection of what I consider to be a collapsing civilization. Now we're in a decaying society, in a collapsing civilization. Maybe you're blessed to be in a, a comfortable world, you know, where you got money in the bank and you got a house and you got keys, and but many don't. I respect President Obama. Can't put all the blame on him, though he is a corporate puppet. If his whole approach to dealing with, you know, the situation in the USA is a fascist approach, his, his focus on, on the middle class, you know, and, you know, helping the middle class and not questioning, at least he admits that there's, there's, there's classes in society, and not questioning, like, the ruling class the top dogs, you know, the global corporate elite of the fascist hierarchy, and you got to see the big picture. See the big picture. We live in a class society, okay? And we can analyze and, and, and we can point out problems, you know, till doomsday. We need to start talking about some solutions here. You know, solutions. And it seems obvious, well, if a person's homeless, then, you know, we need to create homes. Duh. Yet more importantly, are connected to the creation of, of decent, affordable housing. You know, is to understand why and how people become homeless. In general, this is general. It involves having low or no self-esteem. terms of self-love, self-respect, self-confidence, you know, the whole concept of uh, rehabilitation, habilitate, means to equip someone, to equip them, to give them the necessary equipment, the necessary tools that they need to take care of themselves. So many homeless people need to have good survival skills, and they do have good survival skills, but they need another set of skills, a skill set that will help them to cope with their environment, you know, without turning to crime or turning on each other in the streets. And ultimately turning on, on the rest of society. You know, there's great revolutionary potential among the homeless. You know, when you have people who have, have lost everything relatively, except hopefully their 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 sanity, except hopefully their sense of self respect. You know, these are desperate people. You have desperate people in desperate situations, then dangerous circumstances can arise all of a sudden. You know, so we need to be a 
aware of, 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 the, of the complexity of the situation and understand the simplicity of the U.S. government having a major priority of helping to eliminate homelessness in America. The richest country in the world, you know, especially for, uh, for veterans, especially for families, there is no rational reason why we should have one homeless person who does not want to be homeless living in the streets, crashing out in the bushes. And to me, it's a reflection of this whole society is insane. It's insane. When you got a homeless family in the streets, and you got a fascist war criminal in the White House talking about sending these Tomahawk missiles that are really expensive to attack Syria a possible false flag of chemical weapons among an apathetic uh, population, general population that reminds me of uh, Nazi Germany, you know, we're in Nazi America, then I would say things have gotten awry. You know, and stuff is falling apart. People are falling apart, you know. So we need to to band together as, as one family of humanity and help the homeless in America to find a home and give them the necessary skills they need to keep a home and get rid of our, our of our stereotype notions about homeless people. You know, some ha have just been become homeless because of the 2008 recession, which, which was another fascist psychop, and it was really a Great Depression. So there's complexity in involved here. So just do what you can to help the homeless And be mindful of the existence of the homeless. You know, recognize them. Help them out. Say hi to them. You know, they're human beings. But I know NSA will, will hear this. I hardly ever get any feedback, so. Namaste.